Bai Chuan's recent ascent into the elite circle of AI unicorns has solidified its position as a major player in China's AI industry. Founded by Wang Xiaochuan, a prominent figure who previously established Sogu, Bai Chuan has rapidly developed its capabilities in generative AI. The company has released three versions of its large language models, LLMs, the latest of which reportedly surpasses OpenAI's GPT-4 in Chinese language proficiency. This impressive feat has been backed by substantial investments from tech giants such as Tencent, Xiaomi and Alibaba, propelling Baichuan's valuation to approximately $1.8 billion. Baichuan's journey highlights the dynamic landscape of China's AI sector, where innovation and strategic partnerships are key to success. Wang's leadership, combined with the expertise of his longtime aide Ru Liyun, has steered the company towards significant achievements in a relatively short time. The competitive edge Bai Chuan holds in the Chinese market underscores the importance of localized AI advancements, especially in a country with a vast and diverse linguistic landscape. Zipu AI's academic roots. Zipu AI stands out among the four new AI tigers due to its strong academic foundations. Originating from the Knowledge Engineering Group at Tsinghua University, Zipu AI has leveraged its academic prowess to push the boundaries of AI research and application. Under the leadership of CEO Zhang Peng, who holds a doctorate from Tsinghua's Computer Science Department, the company has garnered significant attention and investment, raising $347 million since early 2023. The collaboration between academia and industry has been a critical factor in Jipu AI's growth. By integrating cutting-edge research with practical applications, the company has been able to build robust foundation models that cater to a wide range of industries. This approach not only enhances the company's technological capabilities, but also attracts substantial funding from both private and state-affiliated investors, including Alibaba, Tencent and Meituan. Moonshot AI's meteoric rise. Moonshot AI, another Beijing-based startup, has quickly made a name for itself with its ambitious projects and significant fundraising efforts. Founded in 2023, Moonshot AI raised a staggering $1 billion in a single funding round, reflecting investor confidence in its potential. The company's flagship product, the Kimi Chatbot, exemplifies its technological prowess. Built on Moonshot AI's self-developed LLM, Kimi can process an impressive 2 million Chinese characters in a single prompt, showcasing the startup's capabilities in handling complex language tasks. Moonshot AI's rapid ascent highlights the opportunities and challenges in the competitive AI landscape. The company's ability to secure substantial funding and develop advanced AI solutions positions it well for future growth. However, maintaining this momentum will require continuous innovation and strategic partnerships to stay ahead in the fast-evolving AI market. Minimax and the Shanghai AI Hub Minimax, based in Shanghai, rounds out the quartet of China's new AI tigers. Founded in 2021, the company has seen its valuation soar to around $2.5 billion, driven by significant investment rounds. Minimax is currently seeking to raise an additional $600 million, with Alibaba leading the latest funding efforts. This financial backing underscores the confidence investors have in Minimax's potential to become a dominant force in the AI industry. Shanghai's role as a hub for technological innovation has provided a fertile ground for Minimax's growth. The city's vibrant tech ecosystem, combined with strong support from both private and public sectors, has facilitated the rapid development of AI startups like Minimax. The company's focus on generative AI and its commitment to advancing LLM technology align with Shanghai's broader vision of becoming a global leader in AI research and development. The shift from surveillance to diversification. The older generation of Chinese AI unicorns, including SenseTime, MegV, Yitu and Cloudwalk, initially thrived on government contracts for surveillance technology. However, the US sanctions imposed in 2019 forced these companies to rethink their business models. The entity list restrictions, which limited access to American products, highlighted the risks of relying heavily on surveillance applications and spurred a shift towards diversification. SenseTime and MegVI, the most valuable of the AI unicorns, 
have started exploring new markets such as smart logistics, healthcare and city management. This diversification is essential not only for mitigating the impact of sanctions but also for sustaining long-term growth. The transition from surveillance to broader AI applications reflects a strategic pivot that aims to balance revenue streams and reduce dependence on government orders. Navigating US-China Tech Tensions The ongoing tech war between the US and China has added another layer of complexity to the AI industry's landscape. OpenAI's recent decision to further restrict access by mainland China and Hong Kong-based developers is a stark reminder of the geopolitical challenges facing Chinese AI companies. These restrictions, set to take effect in July, will compel Chinese developers to seek local alternatives and adapt to a more insular tech environment. This development underscores the broader trend of technological decoupling between the US and China. Chinese AI startups, including Zipu AI, are positioning themselves to fill the void left by restricted access to US technology. By promoting homegrown LLMs and offering incentives to developers, these companies are not only fostering local innovation but also strengthening China's self-reliance in AI technology. Government initiatives to bolster AI startups. In response to increasing difficulties accessing high-performance NVIDIA GPUs due to US export restrictions, China has implemented measures to support its AI startups. One such initiative involves offering computing vouchers worth between $140,000 and $280,000 to subsidize the costs associated with data center use. These vouchers are designed to alleviate the financial burden on startups training large language models, LLMs, addressing the rising data center costs exacerbated by the scarcity of NVIDIA processors. Despite these efforts, analysts believe that the vouchers will only partially mitigate the resource scarcity issue. Chinese tech giants like Alibaba, Tencent and ByteDance have limited the rental of NVIDIA GPUs, prioritizing their use for internal purposes and key clients. To further support AI companies, the government is also reducing computing costs by 40% to 50% for those using state-run data centers although this comes with stringent eligibility criteria. This comprehensive approach aims to enhance AI adoption while maintaining oversight of its applications, ultimately striving for greater self-reliance in the face of international challenges. We hope you found this deep dive into China's burgeoning AI landscape both informative and engaging. If you discovered any value in today's discussion, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us bring more insightful content to you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.